യൂണിവേഴ്സൽ ടൂറിംഗ് മെഷീൻ അൺലൈക്ക് ടൂറിംഗ് മെഷീൻസ് ആർ ആക്ച്വലി അബ്സ്ട്രാക്ട് മോഡൽ ഓഫ് റിയൽ കമ്പ്യൂട്ടേഴ്സ് ഓക്കെ ആൻഡ് ദ ക്യാൻ ഡു ഓൾ ദ കമ്പ്യൂട്ടേഷൻസ് പെർഫോംഡ് ബൈ ദ റിയൽ കമ്പ്യൂട്ടേഴ്സ് ഓക്കെ ബട്ട് ദ ടൂറിംഗ് മെഷീൻസ് ദാറ്റ് വി ഹാവ് സീൻ സോഫ ക്യാൻ ഡു ഓൺലി എ സിംഗിൾ കമ്പ്യൂട്ടേഷൻസ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് സപ്പോസ് ഇഫ് ഇറ്റ് ഡിസൈൻ എ ടൂറിംഗ് മെഷീൻ ടു ആക്സെപ്റ്റ് ദ ലാംഗ്വേജ് എൽ ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു എ റേസ് ടു എൻ ബി റേസ് ടു എൻ then that to do machine can only accept the given language and it cannot do the uh, addition of two numbers okay so we had to de- uh, design a separate to do machine to perform the same action but digital computers can do a variety of ta- tasks it is reprogrammable okay like that uh, there should be the to do machine also must be reprogrammable to do machine that is if we design it a single to do machine it must be able to perform the it must be able to recognize a language and do the operations and it must be able to recognize another language and act as a transducer etc okay that kind of turing machine is called a universal turing machines okay so universal turing machines are reprogrammable turing machines okay so uh, you can imagine a universal turing machine uh, like in this okay u and uh, to the universal to the machine what we actually will give is that we will give the dis- uh, description of a to the machine m and the input of the to the machine w input of this uh, machine w okay then this universal to the machine will simulate to the uh, given to the machine m with the, the description uh, with the input string w and give you the uh, responding output okay so um, it is you know it is actually a simulator or we can imagine it as a simulator that will simulate the given to the machine and input string or the given input string and give you the corresponding output okay so we can give whatever the to the machine we are having as an input to the universal to the machine and uh, the universal to the machine will simulate it and give you the corresponding output okay so in order to do uh, perform this simulation we have to encode the uh, description of the to the machine m okay uh, like uh, suppose uh the state of the turing machine are q1 q2 q3 etc okay here we will uh, represent initial state by q1 okay and uh, symbols of the input symbols of the turing machine are a1 uh, a2 a3 etc okay where a1 is represent the blank symbol okay and uh, suppose there is a transition like this delta of q1 comma a2 that is from the state to q1 from on reading the input symbol a2 the turing machine is going to the state uh, q2 and it is writing a3 on the output tab and the movement is left to movement we cannot directly give uh, this uh, transition function as input to the universal turing machine we have to encode this transition function in some format okay so the for that encoding we will encode q1 with a single one a2 with uh, two ones and this will be separated using zeros and q2 with the two, two a3 with the three ones like that okay so uh, this uh, this will be encoded as uh, zero okay zero is used as a separator and since it is q1 we will use one one okay then uh, next input symbol is a2 so it will be encoded as double one okay and uh, after that operation uh, we are going to the state q2 so it will be encoded as double one okay and uh, we are going to the state uh, the a3 is writing on the tab so it will be encoded as triple one and our movement is towards the state so it will represent the using a single one okay so the, uh, this is encoding of this this transition function is encoded like this okay like that we will encode a very transition function of the given to the machine m okay and uh, we will take the input string and give it as input to the universal turing machine okay a universal turing machine will have three types the first type will contain the encoded definition uh, like this okay and the second type will contain the input symbols of the uh, input string whatever be your w it will be stored in the second type and the third type will contain the states of the turing machines okay q1 q2 q3 etc okay and the universal turing machine will um, uh examine the uh, type 2 and type 3 to determine the current input symbol and current state 
and according to the description given the transition function given in tab uh, one it will perform the actions okay so uh, a universal turing machine you can imagine it as a reprogrammable or general purpose turing machine that will take the description of a uh, one turing machine and its input symbol and it will simulate the a given turing machine okay but the description will be encoded using uh, zeros and ones as like this